Good morning everyone. Today I am going to show you how to use an analog CRO cathode ray oscilloscope uh, to measure amplitude, frequency and phase, phase angle. That is the phase difference between two signals. So this is the video actually mostly most requested. I have done video on DSO, Digital Storage Oscilloscope. Actually this was pending. So now I am starting with the CRO, analog scope. Here, so this what you are actually observing, it is a CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope. It is of 30 megahertz oscilloscope. So it is of scientific make, 30 megahertz oscilloscope. Here you can observe this is the power on button. You can use this to power on. I will switch on the power. So initially what you will get is, you will get one trace line. Call it as a trace line. Trace line. Here you can observe there are two volts per division knobs. Volts per division knobs. Two knobs. Since it is belongs to two channel. So this is channel 1 and it is channel 2. Two volts per, volts per division knobs. But time per division now it is only one it is a common time is common time per division now this is the power on button so and these are all different functions are there so first thing is I will show you this is the trace line what you are observing so to control a trace line suppose initially if you get this like this blank without any trace line you can see that you can use Y position so that the cursor it is vertically hide out some where something you can like this if it is like this you can use this suppose x position if it is like this the cursor what you are observing you are getting only half the cursor so you can use the x position suppose if it is like this so that means x position moves the cursor, cursor in the horizontal direction so y position it will move the cursor in the vertical direction see here i am showing you vertical direction so this is horizontal direction you remember this point so this is x position and it is y position if your time division it is like this you are getting only a dot it is moving so your time division it is fully anti-clockwise position to get the cursor, cursor properly on the screen you have to vary like this so if it is at 1 millisecond I think it is enough you will get cursor if it is like this you are getting only the dot you have to use this one time division now observe here one more time I will show you so it is at 0.2 second what is the time it is at 0.2 second where it is showing only a dot to get a straight line of the cursor you have to go for 1 millisecond uh, here it will be triggering so this is the basic points you have to observe so now I have shown you only for one channel since if you want to measure the voltages or you can you have to you should do if you want to use this two channels go for dual channel you will get another cursor like this dual channel mode suppose if you want to use the only one channel all this should be in the release condition so if it is released that means whatever the CRO is searching signal at channel 1 observe here if this button is in release condition CRO trying to trigger the signal checking the signal which is available at channel 1 here it is searching suppose if you press this here you can observe here ch1 bar slash 2 they have given if you press this now what is the CRO is searching it is searching at the channel 2 so now if you press dual it will search the signals for both the channels so here I will repeat this point first all these buttons are in release condition if the, this button is released all these release condition 
the signal so CRO is searching the signal at channel 1 only here you have to apply the signal suppose if I press this the signal the CRO is searching at channel 2 so observe it the controls comes over to channel 2 see here vertical positions volts per division and time it is a common as I told if you go for dual the signal it is searching at CRO is searching signal at both the channels so this is the important point you should remember now I release this condition all the put I put all the release conditions release condition this is ground and this is AC DC and this is the invert whatever signal you feed here that will be manually inverted by 180 degree and this is why position already has told you this is the volts position if you measure the signals you will come to know the different functions of buttons what is available on the front screen of CRO first I will show you with the channel 1 so now it is ready to accept the signals channel 1 because it all this release condition it is in release condition now I will take one uh, function generator